we are over halfway through the year 2017 and boy have the UK's mobile network operators been busy say the first half of this year well at least some of the networks have been rather busy anyway so I feel it is a good time to do a mid-year network technology development summary upgrade video for each of the mobile networks. So to start off with I will talk about what EE has got up to in the first six months of this year. So around three months ago we saw additional refarming of band 3 from 2G to 4G so going from a single carrier on that band to now having two carriers. First carrier being on the EAR FCN of 1667 and the second carrier being on 1811. Now the second carrier is 10 MHz LTE currently so that brings up the bandwidth to 30 MHz. Now on a number of sites this 30 MHz of band 3 also has 44R so 4x4 MIMO equipped on the site. My device is only capable of 2x2 MIMO which is why on these screenshots it displays 4x2 MIMO because the master's four antennas but my device only has two. Band 7 on public sites remains with two carriers typically with 20 MHz bandwidth and 15 MHz bandwidth on the two carriers of 3350 and 3179 respectively. While this screenshot does show 4x4 MIMO available on the Band 7 site. I found 4x4 MIMO to be incredibly rare on Band 7 on EE sites. So all in all, a typical site with 30 MHz of Band 3 and 35 MHz of Band 7, clearly that's 65 MHz of spectrum plus Band 20, and you're looking at 70 MHz paired of bandwidth on a site, which is a huge amount of spectrum especially when at least some of that spectrum on these sort of flagship sites that I'm going to talk about have 4x4 MIMO on them as well. AE hasn't just been deploying lots of spectrum and 4x4 MIMO onto their network either. They also have 256 QAM live on these flagship sites with 4x4 MIMO and an absolute shed load of spectrum. And 256 QAM basically means you get more data throughput out of a certain amount of spectrum in good signal conditions. So in terms of figures going from 2x2 MIMO to 4x4 MIMO you're looking at around about a two times maximum throughput increase and going from 64 QAM to 256 QAM you're looking at about 1.3 times maximum throughput increase. So you put those two together and the performance increase you get over 2x2 MIMO and 64 QAM is very large. And at the beginning of June EE took advantage of 4x4 MIMO and 256 QAM and a site full of spectrum to achieve 429 megabits per second download on a public site in city or in the city of Cardiff. Not a test site, not a test area, just out in public, 429 megabits per second. Now to, to achieve this speed they use the Sony XZ Premium which is Qualcomm Gigabit LTE and that can use up to 10 streams as well as the 256 QAM and 4x4 MIMO as well. Note with 10 streams you can therefore have two, two sets of 4x4 MIMO and then one of 2x2 MIMO. So on the site in Cardiff they had 4x4 MIMO on one of the band 3 carriers, 4x4 MIMO on the other band 3 carrier and then 2x2 MIMO on most sensibly the 20MHz carrier on 
band 7. But nonetheless, 429 megabits per second in a dense urban location on the public network is very, very impressive. Clearly, EE decided that the 429 megabits per second was not enough, so they decided to take the Sony Exit Premium to a perhaps slightly more controlled but still public environment in the form of the Wembley Stadium where they have a distributed, distributed antenna system. And using the Sony Exit Premium in this situation they achieve peak speeds of over 800 megabits per second with average speeds of over 700 megabits per second which is a pretty fast connection. In this case, the setup used had 4x4 MIMO on the band 7 carriers, so 35 megahertz of band 7 with 4x4 and obviously 256 gram as well, and 2x2 MIMO on band 3, but also 256 gram there. So what's coming next then? Well, EE has a lot more than 35 megahertz paired of band 7 spectrum due to the band 7 ownership of BT and obviously BT now owns EE so in time the band 7 carrier or the band 7 carriers will expand especially the second carrier which is currently 15 megahertz could readily be expanded to a 20 megahertz carrier so that will bring them up to 40 megahertz of band 7 and then say 30 megahertz of band 3 which is then 70 megahertz of sort of high band spectrum which is a huge amount to have deployed. There are already signs of this happening in the form of the EAR FCN of 3152 appearing in some SIB 5s alongside the usual carrier listings and things usually only appear in the SIB 5 when they're actually sort of very soon to come because it tells devices sort of what to look for and you don't want to have lots of devices searching for things that aren't there. So that is a good sign. But just generally talking about the 256 CRAM and 4x4 MIMO, it is scheduled to expand beyond the current locations of sort of London Tech City, Wembley and Cardiff. So for example places like Manchester and Birmingham are like guaranteed to get this alongside other big cities. So um, thanks for watching. Up next will probably be Vodafone as they've also got up to an awful lot in the first half of the year 2017.